All right, hello. I'm going to walk you through how to complete an assignment and hand it in in case you're using Google Classroom on a tablet, okay, be it an iPad or an Android tablet or even your phone, okay. So we're going to go through here and then I'm going to find a class, let's say a 4A. To find my assignments, I tap on classwork and I see all assignments that are here. So let's pick any of them. I'm going to pick division problems. I'm going to pick that. Now, all you see is the instruction that says, go to the attached documents for your task. You may not see any attached documents here, but if you look at the bottom, right, you see an arrow that's pointing upward with your work <clears throat> assigned and private comment on there. Now you're going to tap on that arrow and it's going to pull up the attached files. Okay, so you can see um, the moment the teacher assigned the work, the because I logged in, it creates a copy for me. Okay, so I can tap on it and then it opens a preview of the attached document for me. Now I'm going to touch the icon, the square with the arrow in it. Okay, because I need to edit it in Google Docs. So I touch it. And it opens it in Google Docs for me. Now, if I need to edit this, okay, I'm going to double tap the place where I need to edit, and then immediately my keyboard pops up. All right, so I did this earlier, you know, answering the question here, but reading the uh, <laughs> instruction at the top, it says to show working. So um, each, it says Sarah has 28 pencils, da 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 da. da. All right, so let's assume this is the correct answer, all right? Each friend. I'm going to just highlight it and then give it a different color so that you know it's much visible there so you can see this is my answer I've typed in once I'm done I just pull or put away my keyboard now this is Google Docs so it automatically saves the changes you make okay so you don't need to click any save you just go out of the document okay once twice it takes you to the preview go back to your classroom now whatever you typed in already is there so, and it's saved automatically so you don't need to do anything else all right now that you're back on this interface all you need to do is tap the hand in button and then are you sure you want to hand in your work yeah hand it okay and that's it you've handed in your work okay so you see work submitted at the bottom and then in case I just remembered I made an error or mistake or something, I need to redo it. I can tap on unsubmit to bring pull back the file and then I can work on it again. Okay, it, it, it's equivalent to you going to put your book on the teacher's table and then you're going to pick it back up. Okay, but then you just need to make sure that you've done your work and then you submit it once and for all. Okay, so now that is how to send or hand in your work on Google Classroom if you're using a device such as a tablet or um, an iPad, okay.